Here are 10 ways to look 10 years younger. Some of these tips and tricks are so fast working, like instant results, instant gratification. Those are my favorites. And I'm not gonna be talking about Botox in this video. Some other suggestions take a little time, a little bit of money, but again, so worth it. And I know from experience. Okay, so the very first suggestion I have for you has to do with your hair and making it look instantly younger, more youthful, shinier, healthier, more hydrated, less frizzy. And it actually has to do with a brand new product line by Vegamore. It's called Hydrate. And they just launched it this week. However, I have been using it for the last couple of months and I am telling you, you see instant, instant results. I've been loving Vegamore for the last two years. I, if you watch my videos, you know that I swear by their hair growth serum. Like seriously, I've seen insane results with this. So I'm gonna share a little bit about this, but I will have everything linked down below. As you may know, maybe you don't, I have a withstanding code with them. It's my name, Shay, for 20% off site-wide. So you can use that code for anything on their site. Um, but I do wanna share this new Hydrate shampoo and conditioner, and then they also have a hair mask. There's just like so much I wanna say about this. So the shampoo and conditioner, again called Hydrate with a number eight, because it provides eight times the level of hydration to your hair after one use. And I was so skeptical about this. I, I did not have to promote this, by the way. They sent this to me and I immediately loved it. And the thing is, there's so many things that I test out all the time, especially hair care. And with hair care, you can kind of tell pretty quickly whether or not you like something or you don't, but a lot of hydrating products just weigh your hair down. It makes your hair feel sticky or gross. And that was not the case with this, like truly. And just so you guys know, because this information is important to me, but this brand and these products are all clean, vegan, very healthy ingredients like Carmitin, which is actually the healthier vegan version of keratin, which makes your hair very silky and smooth. It has aloe vera, magnolia, bark extract, like the list just goes on with really good ingredients. I take a shower, wash my hair, get out, I'll blow dry my hair, and my hair is very frizzy after I blow dry my hair, but with this, it, like, I, I could just leave the house with the way my hair looks if I want. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I then take it a step further and I'll curl it or style it or whatever, but it makes your hair look so much shinier, it makes it feel hydrated. It actually provides 72 hours of protection against frizziness. So if you just feel like you have dull hair, frizzy hair, you know, just dry hair, you seriously should try this. If you wanna take it to another level, you don't need this, but it's just shockingly good. It's actually the hair mask. It's again, the, the same line, but this actually provides 15 times the level of hydration after one use. And you don't use this like all the time. I do keep it in my shower, and if I do use this, I would say I do it maybe once a week, maybe even once every two weeks, I skip the conditioner. So I'll just shampoo my hair, then I'll take a scoop of this, and I'll put it like on the lower three quarters of my hair, and I let it sit while I do the rest of my shower for like three to five minutes. And then I'll rinse it out, and it's just again, it, it really makes my hair feel soft and shiny and hydrated. This is just like perfect for anybody that just feels like they have dull, dry hair. This will make an instant difference. So I will have them linked down below, check it out. I really think you'll love it. Moving on to the next trick to instantly look younger, okay? Hair is like a big deal, but you can use your hair to kind of give an instant facelift. I mean, this this trick is used by so many celebrities. That's why on the red carpets, you, you see their hair slicked back because if you pull your hair up, up in a ponytail, it literally gives you an instant facelift. You can kind of see here, like pull it tight. It lifts everything upwards, which is what you want. I've talked about these darn hair ties from Amazon like a bajillion times, but this will give you a lot of volume. It will, it, it will allow your hair to actually stay in place and not fall out if you do have longer hair like me. Um, even if you have shorter hair though, these hair ties are fabulous. But the trick here again is to kind of give an instant facelift. Okay, so this next trick, I was really hesitant on whether I should put it in this video or not because it is the Vegamore hair growth serum. So I'm sorry, I'm back to Vegamore, but the thing is it just made sense with the last point because I was not able, I used to not be able to put my hair back. Like I had such a bad hairline and this 
game changer. Um, so I know there's so many of you out there with thinning hair that have a similar problem. Maybe you just have a lot of stress and anxiety and you take a shower and your hair is just like coming out in clumps. Maybe you had a baby. Maybe you really are just, you're just getting older and your hair is thinning. This works wonders. So I have a few before photos of what my hairline used to look like. And honestly, I'm surprised these, these are even out there because I just, I used to never wear my hair back because it looked so bad. Um, but this is what my hairline looks like now. It's completely filled in and it's from this hair serum. So I'm very consistent with this. I use this every single day. I just keep it beside my nightstand. It's a clear formula. It's not going to make your hair oily or greasy. If you wanna use this in the morning, you totally can. But I take a dropper full and I'll disperse it down my hairline, kind of on my scalp, wherever you feel like your hair is thinning. And then uh, you'll start to see baby hairs grow in. Like it's, it's truly insane. And once you start to see those baby hairs grow in, then you're motivated and you're gonna keep going. Um, but you're gonna start to see results month one into month two and one bottle lasts one month. So again, you can use my code, you know, Shay for 20% off. FYI, they do have a three pack of this. You don't have to get the three pack. I always just mention that because if you're gonna be dedicated, you're probably, you are gonna need more than one bottle to start seeing those baby hairs come in because it's like follicles, you know? So anyway, I just think that this has been a game changer and it really will make you look younger. Next, I have some specific makeup tricks into looking instantly better and younger. And hopefully I can explain this okay, but it all centers around filters. And I'm talking about the Instagram filters, the TikTok, Snapchat filters that people use on their face to look better. Some pe people get annoyed about them and, and that's fine. You can use them, you cannot use them. But the thing is, Next time you see someone with a filter on, look at like, what is that filter doing to that person's face? And you can mimic that with makeup. So the features that I see these filters really enhancing or kind of changing are the brows, the eyes, the cheekbones, and the glowiness of your skin. So with brows, there's this Kosas brow product. I swear by it, I can link it below. It's like the best brow product that I have found so far. It fills in your brows with color. It makes them look so natural. It keeps them in place and it literally makes like doing your brows take like 10 seconds. It's phenomenal. But filling in your brows definitely makes a big difference in looking more youthful. And then as far as eyes, no more should we just be like packing on the eyeshadow, like on the actual lids. I really see more of a soft, I look these days. Um, and so what I've been doing is taking like a big fluffy brush and I focus the eyeshadow on the outer corner and in the crease and I just blend it out lightly. And then I take that same eyeshadow color with a pencil brush and I go down around my lower lash line and I just don't use any eyeliner. Blush is so huge right now, especially like the bright pink, like the bubble gum pink. It makes you look more youthful, but it actually can create a lifting effect on your cheekbone. So instead of like, you know, only only focusing it on the apples of your cheeks, which you can, but also bring it upwards and it lifts and just makes you look younger. And then also consider highlight on top of it. And that's just because, you know, when we are younger, our skin is more hydrated, just like our hair. And so, uh, you know, adding a highlighter on top of that, it's just gonna make you look better. The next instant trick actually involves fashion. And so this is stuff that you can already have and pull from your closet. And I had this revelation randomly at church. I was just walking around the lobby and you know, I go to like a fairly large church. It's nothing crazy, but you know, some people dress up, some people dress more casual and it's whatever. But I saw this lady that I know and I saw that she just looked so good. She looked so young and I'm like, what is it? And then I realized she was wearing all light colors from head to toe and it just looked so nice, but she looked younger, like no doubt up the down in my mind. And then ever since that moment, I've started paying attention more. And not that I think black and dark colors are bad, but I think they're harsher, just like with the eyes and wearing lighter colors, it does just make you look younger. It's true. And even daintier patterns, I think very bold, harsh patterns can age you or date you a little bit. Whereas wearing softer, more dainty patterns can again be more youthful. So just keep that in mind when you're putting an outfit together, maybe try some light colors. Okay, so we're working our way up to things that take a little bit of time, but also make a huge difference. And this one I stole from JLo. We all know JLo, Jennifer Lopez. She looks so darn good. She's going backwards in time. She's like, what, 53 now? And I, she claims she's never had Botox or any work done. Who knows, maybe she has. But anytime she talks about ways to look younger, I pay attention. And one thing she said that has been 
kind of life-changing for her and has made a big difference is sleeping only on her back. And I guess she made this change like 20 years ago. She was at a dermatologist and he said, oh, I can tell you sleep on your left side because all of your wrinkles are forming on that side. Because when you lay on the pillow, it like smashes your face and creates wrinkles. I mean, half the t half of our life is like sleeping. You know what I mean? So she trained her body to only sleep on her back and it got rid of the wrinkles on that side of your face. So that's the trick that I wanted to share with you. Try to sleep or at least learn to sleep on your back. I think it actually is better for your back. Um, I am kind of in the process of attempting that because I really do like to sleep on my side, but it's definitely not the greatest for our face. Now, one of the most common suggestions into looking younger is getting more sleep, okay? And I just wanted to share a specific trick that I have discovered in always getting more sleep. Like it works for me every single time. And it is getting ready for bed earlier than you need to. I, I'm a night owl. I love staying up late. I love watching Netflix. Like it's just my downtime. However, if I don't brush my teeth, wash my face and get ready for bed until like way late at night, I mean, and I mean that forces me to like stay up late. But if I do that whole routine at like seven or eight o'clock long before I need to go to bed, like I tell myself like, it's not time to go to bed. I'm just gonna getting this out of the way. Without fail, without fail, I fall asleep and I go to bed way earlier. So just try that little trick and I guarantee you you'll get more sleep. We also have to talk about whiter teeth because that can make a huge difference. People always ask me what I do to make my teeth white and I don't even think they're that white, but I have two options for you and you can make your teeth look drastically better in only one week without having to go to the dentist and doing those crazy procedures that make your teeth super sensitive. The first is just like the classic option. It's the Crest White Strips. These are so good um, and they work really well fast and it removes like 10 years of stains, like 23 shades whiter. I will link these below. You can get them on Amazon. They're really good. Now this does have hydrogen peroxide. So if you have super, super sensitive gums, then I would also recommend Lumino instead. This is very natural. This has like sage, lemon peel, dead sea salt. Like it's all natural ingredients, no peroxide. And this works just as good. It just takes, I would say like a little bit longer, but I would say it is a little bit healthier. So I will link both below. You can get both on Amazon. Lumino also has a teeth whitening pen, which is different than the white strips. Um, you can actually just paint on the whitening gel on your actual teeth. Sometimes I'll even do it before coffee and it puts a protective layer over top of my teeth, you know, to protect from staining or whatever. Okay, so now we're moving on to things that are a little bit more pricey, a little bit more invasive. I've tried quite a few things. I have actually never tried Botox, but this next suggestion, you could look into it and I've had the best results. And I have tried quite a few. So I'll just tell you what it is. It's micro needling with radio frequency. And this is only done by a professional. You have to like go to a medical spa to have it done. So it's the micro needling that looks kind of like a stamp but it's combined with RF, which again stands for radio frequency. Now, I just wanna backpedal a little bit. I've tried quite a few lasers, like facial lasers, whether it be Fraxel, Laser Genesis, like BBL, like all, all kinds of different things because I had really bad acne scarring. Like I had deep kind of like divots in my face from middle school and high school of just like bad cystic acne. And so I tried a lot of different things and I really have never been impressed with really anything other than the micro needling with radio frequency. Now, the radio frequency is kind of, it's like heat, it's like thermal energy that is kind of shot through the needles. So the needles go into your face, it's stamped onto your face, it's not rolled on your face, okay? It's completely different than a roller micro needling system, which I don't even wanna go down that path. It, it tears your skin, it doesn't give you the best results. This stamps your face with kind of longer needles, they numb you up, but then again, it shoots it with like this thermal energy and it produces so much collagen in your skin. Like my skin was transformed from this procedure. Okay, so again, it's not insanely pricey. I think, I don't even know how much it costs these days, but it, it wasn't crazy. I did, I think like two or three procedures and this was years ago, but ever since then, I mean, it's just, I tr I've truly seen such an, an amazing difference in my skin since then. So definitely one of those procedures that I absolutely think is worth looking into. Now, something that I haven't actually tried, but I am so intrigued into trying also involves needles, but gives 
a Botox effect. As you can probably tell, I know a lot of you get Botox. I'm just so on the fence about it. It's like a neurotoxin. Like I don't feel comfortable. Like I just don't wanna, I don't wanna go down that path um, personally. But I have been hearing so many good things about cosmetic acupuncture on the face, which is, I'm sure you guys are familiar with acupuncture. A lot of people use it for inflammation and just like all kinds of things on their body, but there's actually a cosmetic version of that on your face where there's like certain like meridian points on your face that can help with lifting and circulation and just making you look younger. And I don't know, I'm like so intrigued by it, but like I've been reading so many articles and blogs and people like swear by this, that it literally gives a Botox effect without having to inject your body Body with a neurotoxin. Um, so that is something that I also wanted to at least share with you, plant it in your brain, and maybe maybe you could give it a go. Maybe I'll give it a go. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below, including Vegamore, again, Shea for 20% off. But I hope you found this video helpful, interesting, and subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.